Hello, people. Today I have with us the uh, high-grade MSM 07S Zagok, and this is the Char's version, so it's going to be in that lovely pink and red color that you see here. Uh, this is a very early high-grade. Um, people talk a lot about this one being very floppy, and that is true to an extent. Like You can see there's a lot of flop to this one, but I happen to really like it. It does what it needs to do, and it's a very cheap price because it is, again, a very early high-grade uh, kit. It looks fantastic, and I think that goes a long way for me for giving um, some of its shortcomings. But let's go ahead and get into the articulation, and I will show you what this guy can do. All right, so first off, the head actually does move, but it doesn't move a lot. And the reason it doesn't move a lot is because the poly cap that's inside here is basically just holding it onto a peg and then the head lowers onto the rest of the body and like you see here i pulled this off that's not supposed to come off but there is the uh poly cap that's holding that in place so yeah i mean it's it's not articulated per se but it can be if you uh, are clever with how you move it uh the reason for that i don't know you wouldn't really need to these guys are also on poly caps so you can move them as well they are the uh, thrusters for when he's underwater. Moving on to the shoulders, very simple ball joint in here captured inside a very strange system, but each one of these has a cup and a ball. So you have ball joint cup, ball joint cup, ball joint cup, down to the bottom here, poly cap in the last one, and you get three articulated arms here blades here whatever you'd like to call them uh, but the really cool thing about these is even though they are pretty loose if you were to paint it it tightens up really well and they do have a very very variable positioning system so you see that cup it can hold that ball all the way down to like a 90 degree so it's pretty good if you uh like I said you, you might need to tighten it up but really it gets you there and I got to put this one back on. These just slide over the three fins around here. So it's not terrible to put back together, but for some reason my fingers are fumbling. There we go. Okay, back together. All right, and then at the waist we have a poly cap. Let's you move that one there. In the middle here. Oh, I don't know how that came off. Uh, but just, uh, yeah, it's a ball in a cup. They like to do that a lot. Put this one back on here uh the legs are similar to how the arms are stylized so you have the ball and the cup that's down three one two three poly cap inside here and of course you can bend these mostly just this way because the way the um armors are set up you can't really do them the other ways ball joint inside the foot as well as a poly cap in there that one doesn't move a lot so it's just what you get from the ball very simple articulation but again it is a very cheap kit a very early version of what you normally see your high grades being capable of doing nowadays so it's definitely aged but it's a really cool one moving on to our size comparison portion you could see the High grade GBM base Gundam is taller than this one. Remember this one is actually taller than the original Gundam by about a head. So it looks like a normal Gundam would be about the same height as the Zagok here. And another 1144 scale kit. This is the Alto from 30 Minute Missions. You see they are just about the same height. Which means this guy's a little short for a Gunpla. Here he is standing beside Jinrai from the Frame Arm series. This one is in 1 100 scale. Here is the Frame Arms girl uh, architect, and she is in roughly 112 scale, but you can see she's much taller than he is in terms of what size you're looking at. Uh, I have seen quite a few customs using either Frame Arms girls or 30 minute missions with these ones. I don't know how exactly you would be able to do that, but that's a really cool idea. These uh, noodly arms would be really cool on a girl kit. Here he is standing beside a Hexagear Governor. This is a Nero in 124 scale. That is by uh, Kotobukiya. 
And of course, we have him standing next to my Master Grade 1100 scale Alex Gundam. Uh, this guy definitely dwarfs the Zagok here. But uh, again, in scale, this is 1144. The, that one is 1100. So, so it makes sense that he's a lot bigger. So overall, not a lot going on with this little guy. Uh, lots of articulation in the arms and legs. But other than that, he's pretty static. Um, no head motion, nothing like that. But that doesn't really need to be. I mean, when you see him in the show, he's doing some dynamic poses with his uh, with his attacks, you know. But you can get all that with what you got in the box. And I think uh, that is one of the cool things about this one that people often overlook. There is a real grade version of this one in particular and a premium Bandai version of the normal mass production version. So if you wanted to get one uh, with a lot more detail, but almost as floppy, you are able to get one of those. This one cost me $10. I know I've seen them cheaper than that. I've seen them a lot more than that. But for a high grade of this caliber, I think this is definitely worth the price of $10. Um, he's so cool. Uh, really easy to make. You can finish him in one setting and it takes to paint really well because there are a lot of big pieces and pieces that don't really touch each other in terms of, uh, you know, their articulation. So yeah, you do have some meeting on the corners if you were to tighten that all up. But like I said, the internal stuff, you could definitely do with some tightening up. So if you wanted to paint those, it's definitely an idea. It's a really cool kit for not a lot of money. And uh, even though it doesn't come with any extras, I think it's worth the price. I highly recommend this one, especially for a beginner Gundam builder, or if you're building some complex high gra uh, master grades, newer high grades that, you know, they can take some time to finish. This one is a palette cleanser for sure. Just like an SD Gundam, you just sit down, pop it together, maybe 45 minutes to an hour, and you have yourself a really nice looking Zagok. And uh, you can army build these too, because there were quite a few of them in the show at least in the blue color but still uh with the shars version you have a really nice finish i don't know why you would make an underwater unit in red but that is char so that's how it goes uh but that's going to be it for this one uh thank you guys very much for watching i will see you guys next time or you'll see me but more than likely you'll see my stuff Bye bye